Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Minute Monday. I'm your host, Beer Master from Minnesota, and today we're going to talk about the Surly Bill. Now, for some of you that might not know, in, up until 2011, uh, there was no beer that you could buy at a tap room. Any breweries in Minnesota only could distribute, or things like that. You couldn't sell pints of beer to be consumed on site. And that all changed when the owner of Surly, Omar, tried to change that to, to sell his own beer on site. Uh, so what that law essentially did is it allowed tap rooms to be open so that you could go there and enjoy a beer on site. Uh, but part of the stipulation was that you had to be a smaller sized brewery that, that sold less than 10 million gallons of beer to be able to do that. And that prevented some of the big people like Coors or Budweiser or those guys from opening tap rooms and selling beer below cost. Uh, the other big stipulation was that any tap room in Minnesota can't have more than one location. Uh, so that kind of prevented from one brewery being big and successful and kind of taking over the market in Minnesota. So it kind of created a nice fair market for lots of tap rooms. Uh, so that's why over the last 10 years now, we've seen just a, an insane amount of great tap rooms open up all across the state. Uh, so we can we can make sure to thank Surly for helping make that possible. As always, grab a beer, choose a friend, and hit that like button. Please tell me we're filming all of that. <laughs>